Hey, welcome. And finally, we are going to have the drop down button form field over here. Okay, to do this, right after this last test form field, we can then have this widget which you've seen before. It is known as drop down button form field. And basically, the drop down button form field have two properties that is the items and this unchanged over here and for the items what we can do is we can map over the list we have over here and remember this variable over here is basically to store the values we have within our cloud file store that is our categories uh, document and now we want to map over each of them. To do this, we can easily call the, the uh, variable we have. It is called underscore category list. And then we want to say map. And over in this, and we can copy from this edge over there to this. And uh, is this now? And also, instead of saying dynamic, we can just say string. We know what the data is, and it is a test. So we can just go ahead and say a string. It is a type of string. And we can then get rid of this and use this type of function. Then we want to return, we want to return the drop down menu item. Drop down menu item. And also we have to convert this to a list over here. We have to say dot to list. Okay. Seems good. And over here, we can just go ahead and create the function. And within the parentheses, it's going to take in something known as value, which is basically referring to the selected category. And for the child, you can see over here, we have this E over here that is after looping over each of the item we have within the list is going to give us uh, the, the, the value which is referred to as this E. So what we can easily just do now is to create a test widget and pass in the E, which is referring to the result of the looped item. And hopefully you understand all this. And also within the drop down uh, menu item, it has a property known as value and also we can pass in the e and remember the e is referring to the final value that is the looped value <laughs> okay hopefully you understand all this we basically map over each of each of the item we have over this list and uh, you can see that as the final result that is each uh each category we have and that is what we are basically referring to over here and over here and this is basically it so use control sorry and uh, use control and s to save and you're gonna see this shortly over here and seems good Okay, you can see, seems really cool. Seems really cool. And now we can choose to select uh, snacks or select hag. And also what we can do is within the drop down button form field, it has a property known as intest, which is gonna serve as the, as the place order. So what we can do is we can then create a test widget and this is going to say select, select category, select category, sorry, use control and S to save. And, 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 and I'm just going to go to this and come to this. And you can see we have this default test, which says 
select category and now we can click on this to select whatsoever category we want and also what we can do is we can give some breathing space between this copy the size box and paste it over here to give some space between this and this and hopefully understand all this but if you don't please do well to let me know and i'm fully available to answer all your concerns and clear all your doubts so do well to let me know if you do not understand what we are doing and i'm just gonna make this 30 30 30 30 and 30 sorry and control and s now to save to give some breathing space vertically and you're gonna see that right away okay seems good i think this is way much more better and if you do not understand please do what to let me know and see you in the next lecture